um, today I'm going to continue with the tutorial or screencast for building WordPress theme using the roots of set of tools. Again, let's uh, go back to the site to see where the three tools um, are listed. That is the roots. Dot io that a website you're able to see this is three blocks of uh, tools in the first session we uh, we, we set up a trellis and the text session we modified the wiggering file for trellis and set up um, three sites using bedrock um, bedrock basically is a wordpress development environment that um, uh, runs on trellis, in our case, we run one regular, that is a virtual machine, and have a three sides set, uh, set up. And if we look at it, uh, here in this terminal, I have already run in on the trellis folder, uh, run wiggering up. After that is up and going, is that is wiggering up, we can see we can SSH into the root folder. And in this case, let's just do that. We'll see. I already set up three sites there. Okay, so here. Okay, so then you can see SRV, WWI, that's where those sites are listed. So Let's take a look. It has three sites. There is hotel site, kingdom site, and my studio site. Okay. Today, however, we're going to get um, set uh, in each site using Siege as a starting start theme. So go from there. Uh, I can also show you how to use the Siege if you're possible in one of the sites to see how we can incorporate Bootstrap using Webpack. Okay, so let's first do this. Let's copy this line of code, go to Sage. Uh, you can also open up as I did, you know, open up uh, its documentation. Let's do that actually right now. Let's close other things. Okay, so, okay, so also you might want to, end, uh, you know, go to Bootstrap. That is getbootstrap.com, go to documentation in case you need it. In this case, we see this uh, the documentation for Siege. And the Siege basically, let's look at what the Siege is. Siege basically is the starter thing with a modern development workflow. And uh, it has modern front end workflow with Webpack that is enable you to write style sheets with the Sash and automatically check your JavaScript for errors, optimize images, enable synchronize browser testing, and more with our Webpack-based setup. Then it's incorporated different CSS framework like Bootstrap 4, Foundation, and more. And uh, third is uh, use the DRY templates with Blade. And use the Laravel Blade, you can go to this link and this, you know, study more to learn about blade it's a template engine basically templating engine sorry now also you want to just in order to develop a siege just are the same in the future we might mention it i'm going to use this book actually is a uh, road by ben wood it's wonderful it's for the version you can see siege 9.90 and that's for the latest version, basically using Bootstrap 4, etc. Okay, I would encourage you to buy this book. So, uh, next thing we want to talk about is uh, you can also go to the repo, you know, see the repo sitting. Uh, if I go here, see a lot of things going on. And I'm not going to go through everything, but I wanted to tell you again about the features of Siege. You can see it's used Sash for style sheets, use modern JavaScript, use Webpack for compiling things, and a browser sync for uh, live browser 
in testing the blade as templating engine, then controller for passing data to blade template. That is basically part of the Laravel setup. And then have different CSS frameworks. OK, so that being said, it also have some requirements. That is, you have to install them ahead of time. As we have already done, we set up a composer, we set up uh, Node.js. But in this case, you also want to set up a yarn. And uh, then we're going to see how to install theme. Now, theme has two uh, ways to install. The first one would be you know, the common and nominal set, uh, common setup, basically normal setup with the, the current version, stable version, we would call it. The second way is developed version, basically the latest version. So that is going to add a flag called the D dash master. So in our case, we're only going to we install the uh, stable version. So let's uh, do that. So first thing we need to do is uh, open up. Uh, in in our case, we're going to I'm just going to close this. Okay. So I'm going to open up another terminal. And you can see it's sitting on the trellis, but I'm going to get into my folder. That is, again, don't need to worry about that. Basically, going to get into Kingdom Age web slash app, then themes. Basically, where the theme folder is set. Now, if I go to my finder, I uh, try to see where it is. That's going to be, look, this uh, is. That's where my site or trellis is set. And in, in this case, I already set up using Bedrock, set a new site for the Kingdom site. And go to web, go to app, go to theme. That's where we want the stage to be set up. OK, so in this case, we also going to go here, copy this line of code again. Sorry. OK, so let's do this and change the theme name. In our case, it's going to call the kingdom. Okay, so, okay. Now it's a little bit time to download the package, so let's go from there. I'm so sorry. Today my internet is pretty slow. So let's see. It should take uh, not so long a time right now. Let's get going. So now we see that uh, the latest version of Siege is a 9.07. So. Okay, now we need to give it some, uh, a theme name. In our case, we just use the site official name. And then we, we use uh, our site. Official URL, basically. Okay, so here we go. I'm sorry. Uh, let's cancel this. Sorry. There's a typo. Now you always can come back and do it again. So there you go. In, you know, in the between time, you can cancel Command C and cancel the process. You can rewrite it. Okay, so again, let's do this. Kingdom page. Let's be careful this time. Don't have typos. Okay. Kingdom page. Dark. That's right. That's my site. Second. Okay. It's a theme. The theme designed for the kingdom design and based on siege starter theme. Okay. So capital A. Huh? Okay, good. Now we're gonna give it version number. Okay, so well, that's gonna use my name. Okay, so here I go. And uh, that's gonna be my studio URL. So okay, so uh, well this one it's a little bit tricky, but uh, let's let's take a look in trellis actually we set it up, am I so I'm going to exist at this place and exist SSH. And uh, you can see uh, back in Trellis, I'm going to 
This time I'm going to use a subline to open it. Okay, so let's look at, look at the file structure. Okay, you can see in my subline folder, we're going to go this folder called the group underscore wars. Remember, we set everything up under this YAML file, that in this YAML file, and in this YAML file, you'll see we set up this canonical uh, URL for the kingdom it site. So basically, this is the local div site, okay? So uh, the URL we set up. So back to this terminal, we're going to just basically paste that in, okay? There you go, that's good. Then similarly, we have a set up the site under a certain folder that is called the kingdom. That's going to be the folder we use here. So slash app slash things then kingdom. Okay, so let's do it. Now we use bootstrap. So we're going to use option one. Uh, do you want? Are you sure you want to override the following files? Uh, maybe not. I want to keep it. Okay, so. There we go. We have set up the kingdom the kingdom site using Sage. Okay, this is basically. Then we need to enter into it. Okay, so and then look at that. That's the Sage package sitting here. Now we need to run yarn to install the node packages. There we go. To give it a time a lot of packages. Let's see, 37,000 something. Okay, that's actually pretty fast. Done. Okay, now we can yarn around yarn start, start development. Okay, so in this case, this is going to open up the browser and give us a live site locally set up. There you go. Fast and easy. Now you can see also the site is already using, uh, it's already logged in in Animan. Uh, if I log it out, uh, okay, so I'm gonna close this. Okay, so let's do it again then. Let's see what is gonna happen. That's because my browser had you web prior to this, I had run the test. So here we go, that's the site. Now we're going to log in using the parameter setup in, in Trellis. So basically, username uh, will be admin, password admin. You have to delete this when you do production, okay? So now, there you go. Now, uh, in this case, let's see good appearances. You can see there's many things carried on because we're using Bedrock install WordPress and basically all this are redundant. You don't have to keep it there, you just delete it. Clean it up. Okay. And let's not keep it for sure. Here we go. For me, I just want to clean everything up. Let's see. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm gonna only keep 19, the latest version. Okay. There you go. 17. No need. There. Okay. Sometimes this side is gonna automatically adopt another thing, which is the default thing. What you have to do is go here to make sure you choose the thing you just named. In this case, the Kingdom Age site, so I activate it, uh, you know, and uh, then go to the front end. There we go. Open another tab. I'm uh, sorry. Let's do this. Oh, what's going on? Come back again. That's interesting. Anyway, let's uh, go to the dashboard. I'm not supposed to be there. Okay, let's open this. There you go. That's the front end. You can see. Uh, some okay. Let's 
be here. Oh, no, it's still here. Yeah, I'll just keep it there for sure. For now, I'm sorry. Now, what I want to try to do is uh, continue the same process while the side is still running. I'm going to set up other sites as well. Other for the seat with the seat uh, start same. Okay, so I'm going to go to here in this case. I'm going to see if I do this. Hmm, okay. Uh, okay, let me try this. Okay, so. So basically, that's the new site I need to set up. Click new streams, studio. Don't come. Let's see. If I have time for no, no, no. So that's good. Now that's where I need to set up stage. So and then go back here. See the installation here. So that's where I need to set up my site. New site. We're going to choose here. We're going to call it. And SS, and that's going to be good. Repeat the same process. I will be able to set up a site, you know, for, sorry, here we go, uh, for this site. Oh, okay. So here we go. Uh, we're going to call it New Streams Studio. Good. And yes. Okay. Sorry. Uh, no problem with tile kings. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Uh yeah, the theme. Designed for new streams. Studio. Based on siege starter thing. Okay. Okay, that's good. Again, this would be good. Sorry. One point one point one. Okay, there you go. My name. Okay, then the same thing. Okay, okay. then uh, this one we're going to double check again. We'll go to Sublime and see the new stream. I give a name called NS Test. Okay, so that's what it is. We can type in. Test. Good. Uh, again, this is uh, we have set up also called NSS. Okay, so that'll be good. Not down. We also want to use the first strap as well. So okay. uh, no. Okay. So now we can see the side is set up. Oh, I'm so sorry. There's something going on here. I need to remove. Okay. So prior to this, as I'm redundant folder in me. So here we go. And we are raw. Let's just first do that one. Then remove yarn. Okay, so let's see again. Not only as let's enter NSS. And you can see this this package set up perfectly. And then we run yarn again to install the node packages. Okay. Basically, we're repeating the same process. Okay. Then we're going to run yarn start and start the web game. Then I'm going to open up a new folder and this time we're going to take a notice the port for this local host changed to 3.3002 okay so we're going to log in again to see what's going on okay so 
What's the place? Uh, not the phone. I'm sorry. There we go. Stream time. Okay, there we go. Let's see. You can see this will actually applied the latest version of the default theme that's 2019 and uh, rather than using uh, the C to C with the setup. So we it's a good example for us to how to to change it. Okay, we're going to do that here. Okay, I can see you need to add to this guy. Okay, new stream studio. That's my thing. It's on Sage. Okay, let's see exactly what theme this is supposed to work. Okay, so let's delete view. Let's do this actually. So, so to, oh, this one either. Okay, well, this one be. Okay, let's see. 17. Mm -hmm. 17. I don't have the 14. No. Okay. 15. No. Only 119. Okay. There you go. Okay, that's down. So I also want to update WordPress as well. Just for future purposes. Oh, I still there. That's crazy. Anyway, you want to delete that as a better way to do that. Uh, I will show you after this actually. I think we're just going to do that because we want these files, these thing files stay there you know, to use us to clean up the web environment. So. Anyway, first one update stuff. You can see WordPress ready to be updated. Okay. Why is doing that? Actually, let's go uh, to Finder and uh, go to. You can see under default that is the word trellis state. And uh, if you go to the individual sites folders, you go to the web under WP. That's where the those things under this folder you can see they are sitting there, right? So, Basically, you can delete them all except the 19. Am I so okay? There you go. Delete that. Do the same thing for this site. Okay, so let's see. Okay, there we go. Index file. Hmm, I don't need that actually. So, either. Okay, web, wp, public content, wp content, things, select all. No. This time we're going to keep this guy, okay? So, then you need it. Okay, so that's done. That's more effective to do this. So, I'm just sorry. Uh, normally, in a normal site, you're supposed to delete things from here, am I? So, you can do that. Anyway, let's go back to the back uh, end on the themes interface. You can see there's some update can be done. Let's do that. Okay, so it's updated. You can see it's uh, kind of wrong, almost like this one. This one. Okay, see it's wrong. Now from here, I'm not going to install for the hotel site because I want to continue as one session with restoring uh, previous developer sites and uh, develop using a, a developer theme as well, so as one session. But uh, from here, however, I do want to make sure that Bootstrap is processed by Webpack by changing certain, for example, change the color. Okay, so, so we know the live Browser, uh, uh, the live preview, the browser things are working. Okay, so in this case, let's do that. Uh, we'll go to the, you can see this is a, a new stream studio site. So we're going to open a new tab on, uh, in my terminal. And you can see, I'm going to open up this in my code editor, then study the file structure a little bit. Now let's go back to the repo. 
these people, uh, where is it? There we go. And you can see this is how more clear way to describe the theme structure. Uh, I give some uh, hints what those files or structure, uh, you know, particular setup, what they are. So let's take a look. So you can see on the themes under your new theme for uh, a theme theme folder, and you have different uh, subfolders. The first set is app. This is basically the theme PHP. You have a uh, controller files on the controllers folder, and you have this customer setup is element PHP, and different filters, helper functions. Then you can basically set up the theme from start with. Now, all of you got composer JSON composer log file. Basically, that is going to download the PHP package for you. In this case, many WordPress packages can be downloaded. Also, in this folder, that's when you process file, you know, and build your Steam assets. That's going to automatically generate it. Then you have node modules. That's when you run Yarn. Uh, those more uh, node package of download you will see under this folder. For example, the Bootstrap uh, a framework we downloaded as node package will sit under this. We're going to look at it. And then those files, which packages as controlled by this JSON file, the package JSON file. And uh, then the real meat of this whole thing is where you have to start developing is on the resources folder. And you have assets folder, you have a styles, you have squid, images, fonts, etc. This config JSON is basically the webpack uh, basic JSON file. And then the build is webpack setting this config. Okay, so. And then you have a, the nominal, in any you know, WordPress theme have function PHP, that's where you see it, index PHP, uh, screenshots. And then the process as style CSS, in this case, actually don't use at all when you develop it, unless you find, find you want to pr uh, do production, this will change, you know, fill the new code. But if you actually not, because you can see in here, what is basically the placeholder for your theme descriptions, okay? So, and uh, we'll take a look at, and in we use uh, where the power comes from the for the blade templating is where under we use. You have a layout that is a basic template, and then you have partials. That's going to be your, where the meat for your right WordPress theme. We'll talk about that when we do real development. And then you have a vendor that is going to be composed packages that is automatically downloaded sitting under. Anyway, let's look at uh, this in our code editor. You can see, there you go. That's basically the same thing. Now we do want to mention, I do want to mention this one file called, the, this hidden file called the style linked RC file. Sometimes because we, your editor format uh, says in a different way, it can cause confusion with this thing uh, either way, there's a rules you can be ignored. You know, you're just going to write uh, no empty source null that uh, using null to nullify or and certain, you know, linking rules, uh, linked rules. Anyway, so in our case, we can see there's access folder here. We're going to use uh, the style sheet, styles, we can see up automatic loaded bootstrap. And then in the common, we have two files, globe and wearables. Wearables is where the theme colors are set. So, and other things are set according to bootstrap framework. And then you have different components. You can add it yourself, basically. Okay, that's different partials. Uh, for different sections of layouts. Then the main SS, uh, main SSS file is basically load everything together and part together to be processed. Okay, in our case, we want to make sure that uh, the wearables work. So what we do is uh, let's just change this guy to see simple red color 
and see if working or not. The first thing we want to check is this compiling or not. You can see it's compiled and successfully. And uh, then we're going to go to the front end in our browser to see all things change or not. It's not changed. Uh, there you go, it changed. Now it's supposed to automatically compile for you. So in our case, what's going on? So I'm going to do it again. In this case, I'm going to do yellow, okay? So just to see what's going on. It's compiling. Done. This browser supposed to change. Hmm. That's confusing. Okay, you can see it changed. Why is not an automatic refreshing? That's problematic. So, okay, so that can be But basically, you can see uh, Webpack working and the browser. Now we have a little bit bump, but it's still working. So, uh, it's compiling things for you. So, uh, in this case, if you now refresh the command R, or refresh for you. I will stop here. Next time, we're going to. Uh, to do some damage with the hotel side again you use the same process to set up a new siege theme and then basically to see how things works and we try to restore a uh, previously uh, designed um, you know theme based on siege and a port of this uh, side live side content in and this see what's going on okay so Thank you. Okay, bye.